want us to lift our hands above our shoulders and I want us to give him a shout. And I want us to cry up to the King of Kings. I want us to cry up to the Lord of Lords and I pray to share with you. The topic of what God has given me this day is divine reverses of negatives. Judges chapter 11. Now Jephthah, the Gideonite, was a mighty man of Allah. But he was the son of a harlot, and Gilead begot Jephthah. Gilead's wife bore sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, You shall have no inheritance in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of Tob. And worthless men bathed together with Jephthah and went out breathing with him. I want to present to us this day that God knows everything in our lives and there is nothing we can go to introduce God to anything concerning our lives he knows every particular he knows everything that even some of the things we do not know he knows them and so when we bring them to him it is not news it is just that you have matured to come to the level to realize that you need something and that need is present in your life and when you bring it to God in prayer he says now my daughter my son knows that this thing is pleasant and his father needs to deal with it when I was growing up I used to think that I'm giving God information in prayer and I would come telling God God remember Lord don't you know that I'm going through this and this Lord, don't you know that this and this is happening? But then I realized even before I told him, don't you know, he already knows about it. Amen. So I no longer go to the Father telling him, don't you know? I come saying, Father, I have come because of this issue, which we both of us know. Come on, give your name a high five. And so, Jephthah is a man born out of wedlock. He's a man born out of and Jephthah is a subject or he is suffering from circumstances which he himself has not asked of. So there are negatives we have suffered. <coughs> Hallelujah. There are negatives we have suffered but we have nothing to do with them. And they are a pain to our lives because of times they cause us not to come to the fullness of the blessings of God. Because sometimes you go to look for a job, and once you state where you come from, probably those who are giving you a job back home, they will say no. They may not tell you out lightly, but they may dismiss you because of where you come from. But I thank God we serve a God who is not a God of negativity. He will never deal with us from the point of negative, but he will deal with us from the point of positiveness. Jephthah was there with his brothers. And one time, the Bible says that his father went home to be with the Lord. And as this sounds of Jephthah grew up with the mother's help. The issue of inheritance did not begin with us. It has begun in generations and generations as us. And so the issue of inheritance came up. And the word of God is telling us that the mother and the children, the sons, they told Jephthah this is the end of you. Jephthah was told, she was shown the door and was told, you need to go away. We don't need you. You cannot inherit among us. The word of God says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 2, that one of the illegitimate birth shall not enter the assembly of the Lord. 
even to the tenth generation, and none shall enter the assembly of the Lord. That was one of the rules or the, the things that were laid down in the book of Leviticus as Moses was giving out the rules. And anyone who was born out of wed out of wedlock, and that means anybody who was not born out of marriage, even in the scriptures, they were not allowed even to stand on the altar or serve. But I found God for the blood of Jesus Christ and the cross of Calvary. For he became our curse. And therefore, every curse was broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so the black and the white, the blue and the yellow, the Luyas and Baluyas, the Karenjin and the Kikuyus, we can celebrate our God because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And everything has been put under the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. There are many things in our lives that we suffer from. I've heard people using this place and they say, you are so beautiful, but they say, but the way you love, it is uncouth. <laughs> and despite the goodness they had said about you, when they put the joining word called but, you are deflated like a tire. Yes. Oh, come on, talk to somebody this morning. I have heard people saying that whether that couple is very good, but the wife. I have asked people saying that marriage is very good, but the husband. And the goodness ends because of the but. I have heard people saying that church is very good, but. And this morning the Lord spoke to my heart and said, I am removing every but from every person gathered in my sanctuary in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God has created us in the image and in the likeness of God. And whether we are short or we are tall, whether we know how to laugh or we don't know how to laugh, whether we can make it or we do not make it, we are wonderful and beautifully made. And God does not see any but in us. He sees himself in us. Because the blood
Because like Jabez, when he was going through so much, a great rejection, and there was pain in his life, among his brothers who were blessed, the brothers of Jabez were good, they were blessed, and they were fried, they were frying high. But Jabez, now that despite what he was going through and the lack in his life, instead of the rejection, uh, instead of him agreeing with the rejection, he disagreed with it. And he came to prayer and he said, Oh Lord, enlarge my territory and free me from pain. Amen. How we respond Thank you, to the boss determines where we go. Amen. Two years ago, I'll give you a story. When I came here, I was size 18 W. Very big. Come on, give your neighbor a high five. Very big. I didn't have a neck. I was, I was a continuous line. Come on, give your neighbor a high five. I'm not ashamed about myself. And then when I go back home to buy clothes, there's a shop I love. And the lady would say, this dress would have fitted you back to your bus. Every time back to your bus. And one morning I woke up back. And I said, this part must end in my life. Yes. And I started praying. Yes. Some of you ask me, what did I eat to come to this size? Nothing. I started dealing with bugs. Yes. And every morning I would wake up and talk to my love brothers and say, I am speaking to you. You are the compost in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Less 